Well guys, I think I might have found the mother load of sci-fi tabletop RPG goodies, and it's called Future World Creator. Hi everybody, my name is Nate and you are watching WASD20, a channel about tabletop RPGs and fantasy maps. In today's video, a little departure from the fantasy into the future. So first off, I want to disclose that this is a paid promotional video. I would like to thank GameStart, the company behind Future World Creator, for sponsoring this video. As always, however, I plan to be completely honest in sharing my opinion of this product that is always a part of my contract with sponsors. Now, this is a prototype of a product that just launched on Kickstarter, so check out the link in the video description. Now, you might remember that GameStart about a year ago sponsored a video for Fantasy World Creator, which... Um, I'm a really big fan of. I still use it to this day. Uh, it's modular dungeon tiles that are interlocking. Came with a whole lot of other extras too, such as a whole bunch of character pawns, which I don't have with me here. But anyway, I'll put a link to that video up at the top if you want to go back and see that. Another product I highly recommend. But now launching us into more modern settings, we have Future World Creator. The box is massive and very heavy. Let's uh, flip it over here. Whew and you can get a feel for what's in the box here. So we're looking at modular tiles once again, this time in full and vibrant color in a variety of different settings, as well as hundreds of character tokens once again, and a web app. So we're gonna be taking a brief look at that today as well. I love this logo, first off, that's really cool. The box is huge, the box is heavy. Let's see what's inside. All right, so the first thing, looks like we've got a little miniature here. Obviously some assembly required here, gonna require a little bit of glue, uh, but it looks pretty cool. It looks like, it honestly looks a lot like a character out of Destiny. Really nice base, high quality uh, plastic, maybe resin. We have some dry erase markers here, and we've got a whole lot of little standy things, bases, if you will, for all the pawns that you see. Now, I did open this once and took a couple sheets out and some of these things fell off, so they're not totally in the uh, original punch cards that they came on, but this, I mean, the rest of this box is just an absolutely enormous quantity of uh, cardboard that needs punching out. Pull this stuff out of the bag and probably all gonna fall apart and it's just gonna be a big pile of awesome stuff <clears throat> that needs organizing and storage. Beautiful art, again full color. Uh, they must have done pretty well with Fantasy World Creator and uh, bit the bullet for some really a lot of really high quality art. It definitely looks like the quality is up to the level that you would expect in an RPG book. You know, something like Starfinder or Numenera. It's, uh, it's really good. Let's punch a couple out here and we'll take a look. Check out a couple of these here. Really nice looking. Human. Definitely not a human. Definitely not a human. Oh man, this one's cool. It's got like a tail. Looks kind of reptilian. All right, so I did punch a few of these out here and put them on the bases, and you can see that even the very big ones, I was really surprised and impressed that uh, they stand up with just this very small base. We can even try uh, this gargantuan one here. And you can see that this actually stands up pretty well. I mean, it's definitely a little wobbly, but uh, not bad. And certainly the smaller ones here do just fine. And yeah, you've just got a lot of really high quality art here. On one side of each pawn, you've got this art, and on the other side, you've got kind of a slightly faded version of the art that would probably show the back of each creature. Uh, there are some other options they are thinking about for the back of these on their Kickstarter right now, and uh, they are asking for feedback. Uh, so you can go check out some of the things they're thinking about via that link in the video description. Uh, but there are way too many of these for me to show you all the cool pawns they've got. 
Uh, but you can actually see them for yourself on the web app, which is currently uh, free for everyone to check out while the Kickstarter is running. I did also read that these are not the final bases. The final bases will actually be much nicer looking and they'll be round. Uh, these are just in the prototype pack that I got. However, they are planning to keep a few different colors, you know, different ones for PCs or NPCs, monsters and bosses and stuff like that. These blank things, I think these are blank so that you can actually make your own creatures roughly in the shape of some of these. So you could actually take that black dry erase marker and, or even like a, a thin uh, Sharpie if you wanted to make it more permanent and draw your own creatures on there. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we've got a lot of pawns, that is for sure. But uh, one of the main features here are these tiles. So let's punch some of these out. All right, so I've broken everything up and now we're gonna take a closer look at the tiles. First off, I wanna note that this is really thick cardboard and it has a nice glossy surface on it that is dry erase or wet erase. So I have no concerns about durability here. Uh, it seems like very high quality stuff. The uh, tiles themselves, the art is varied and it all looks very, very good in my opinion. Uh, you've got a lot of interior sections. Um, yeah, they've even got some like chasms. So this is kind of an alien planet looking place. This one I think is more of a post-apocalyptic type and there are others that fit that post-apocalyptic theme for sure. And then uh, on the other side is that alien planet. You've got spaceship type stuff, all kinds of cool science fiction environments. Now you might notice that some of these do not have the uh, now you might notice that some of them do not have the lock together joints uh, that make them like a, a puzzle. And the reason for that is that you can actually use some of these as like a roof. So this could be the roof of this building, for example, or this could be the second floor of this building. And then you can just pull that right off of there. They also have these little circles where you can actually write the floor number in there if you want to. So that's the reason they have some of those. They also have some smaller ones here that can just kind of be thrown out. These could be, I think, used on a battle mat too, which is kind of nice. Throw them wherever. Again, lots of variety, very vibrant colors. Got this kind of temple looking place. Got this almost cyberpunky looking, some Asian script there. Um, so. Yeah, lots of very nice tiles. I really dig the style and the art. I think it will definitely fit well in Starfinder or Shadowrun. Some of it might even fit well in Star Wars or Star Trek. But uh, you've got this kind of swampy set of tiles here, uh, which is cool. It would have been nice to maybe get some bigger ones of these as well. And the other thing is that there are no two by four tiles like there were with the fantasy world creator in this one. Uh, there's just the four by four. So you're not gonna be making like lots of narrow corridors and mazes, which probably is fine for most science fiction games anyway, where you're not really doing a whole lot of dungeon delving. I will say that I think some of these could have a few more plain options. Like these ones right here all have these bright LED lights and it would've been nice to just get some plain kind of dark uh, surface rather than having them all rather than having them all have these bright lights but there's definitely some variety like some of them are kind of broken up in addition to the tiles you also get these condition markers here there's a whole ton of them there's like 20 30 40 I don't know there's a ton unconscious staggered off kilter pinned dying asleep um, and then you've got these blank ones too which are kind of nice so you can actually make your own custom conditions and there's like certain maybe you could mark off abilities that are used or something like that. So a lot of those and then also car tokens. <laughs> on one side of these you've got the nice shiny futuristic looking cars and on the other side you've got banged up beat up cars. So that's pretty cool. And we've also got 
These, on one side, crates. On the other side, barriers, like these energy force field type things. So uh, that's pretty cool. These could make for some nice tactical gameplay. Now, speaking of tactics and all that, there actually is a game in development uh, by Jonathan Gilmore. He was inspired by these tiles and wanted to create a game. He's a well-known board game designer. He also has done some RPG work, like Kids on Bikes, I believe is one of his. And apparently there is a roguelike game that he is working on for Future World Creator. So that sounds really cool, and uh, I can't wait to see what comes of that. All right, I wanted to give you all a quick look at the Future World Creator app next. This is a web app and it is free for anyone right now while the Kickstarter is going on. So go check it out and um, yeah, you can try it for yourself. You can zoom out using the mouse scroll wheel and uh, in addition to just kind of linking your tiles here, you can also draw with the free drawing tool and you can add text. So if you want to note that, we'll make our text green here, that there is uh, an entrance to this room right here, and then we can rotate it and, and there we go. Now we have an entrance right there, except I spelled it wrong. You've also got the cars, the barricades, the characters, they're all here, and uh, you can add those as well. So uh, this is just a really cool way to kind of plan out your map or share map ideas with others. And I guess potentially you could also use these for virtual tabletop gameplay, which is really nice. I don't see a way right now to export to a JPEG or PNG or something like that. That does seem like a, a really important feature. Now one thing is it is kind of odd that you still have the puzzle pieces here. It seems like they could easily just make the uh, sides of these straight when you're doing it in the app here can rotate these to fit. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a brief look at that. At this time, I don't really see it as any kind of amazing product. It's pretty bare bones, but it is a nice little bonus when you consider it's free for backers. All right, so to provide some closing thoughts here, um, let's talk about the price for a moment. I'm not totally sure what the price will be because at time of filming, the Kickstarter is not live yet, but I have been informed by GameStart that the price for the base set they are planning on is 75 euros. So I'm pretty sure that what I have here is the base set, but not totally sure. Anyway, if that is the case, 75 euros for everything you get in this gigantic box seems like an exceptional value. If you play futuristic or science fiction RPGs like Starfinder, I think that this is going to be something you definitely want to look into. You get so many good looking pawns, you get just a ton of options for versatility with your map setup at your table. And everything I'm seeing here, I'm pretty impressed with. You know, I think some of the minor points of feedback I would give would be, it might be nice for some of these buildings right here to have some sort of bigger battle mat actually, so that you don't have to necessarily always fiddle with these things, but you can actually use these kind of as tokens on a battle mat. I think the same could be true of a lot of these other elements, like some of these, you know, like bushes and foliage right here. They include a lot of kind of dungeon dressing on the tiles, but I think that some of it could be made separate and could make it even more modular and versatile. But I would love to hear what you think down in the comments as well. Uh, if you do play science fiction RPGs, which ones do you play and do you think this could be used for that? I want to thank my patrons so much for their support. Before we go, these people are making it happen for me here on WASD20, and I am extremely grateful. If you want to join with them, you can go check it out at patreon.com slash WASD20. I'd greatly appreciate it, and you can pick up some pretty cool rewards as well. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos as well. And thank you so much for joining me on this one. Thanks again to GameStart for sponsoring this video. All right, that's all for me, everybody. Take care. You'll see me again very soon.